Gareth, you've been appointed head of elite development at the FA. Tell us about the role. Yeah, uh, I think um, to begin with, it's it's to help to implement um, the proposals that have been made from a, a review of uh, youth development that's taken place over the last six months. Um, I think after the last World Cup, the FA wanted to be proactive in um, in getting opinion from people throughout the professional game uh, as to how we can best produce more top quality young England players and coaches uh, to benefit the England senior team in the years to come. How important do you see the, the youth development review being? You're very experienced across across the game, played through to international level. Yeah, well two things that I care passionately about. One is, is English football and, and the England football team and the second is developing young people and um, I was very conscious of that when I was a manager of the club at Middlesbrough. Um, we, we had a very strong academy um, giving people opportunities was something that I thought was very important. Uh, I think there's three main uh, areas. One is the development of young players at ages 5 to 16. Um, the second is and to be able to do that we need to develop quality coaches, um, not just get more coaches but co coaches of the right quality whether that's coaches at, at age specific levels or uh, senior level. Um, and the third thing is to help the national coaches of our England development teams from 16s to, to 21s um, in terms of their relationships with clubs to get release of players. The hard work needs to be done behind the scenes and I think my role is very much a behind the scenes role um, to help all of the coaches of, of, of those different teams uh, and give them the tools to do their job. How do you see your role working on a, on a day to day basis? Well I think it will be quite wide ranging. I think um, some of it will be obviously in, in meetings with uh, the national coaches at, uh, at the junior levels with, with, with Trevor with uh, helping that coach development. Um, we've got the exciting project at St George's Park to um, to, to help have some input into, um, but also very strongly liaising with clubs at, at Premier League and Football League level, whether that's first team managers, um, uh, academy managers, you know, having just come out of the professional game or being involved very closely with the professional game. Um, I think I've got strong links with that. It's not a bad start point that, that yourself and the, the coaches come at this summer from. For example, the, the under 21s are now ranked at number one in Europe. By, by UEFA and of course the, the under-17s are the current European champions as well. Yeah, and I think it's important to remember that there are lots of successes going on as well. You know, it's not all about ripping up everything and starting again. Um, it's about tweaking it at certain levels and, and, and certain aspects of the game um, because we want to achieve excellence and, um, and to do that we have to, uh, we have to strive to be the very best. So, um, but we've got to continue doing the things that we do well and uh, make sure that we don't lose those. Personally, how much does it mean to you to, to, to be here, part of the FA, part of England again? Well, it's a great honour. You know, it, was, um, it was an honour to, to play for my country, um, something which I wanted to do from as soon as I could kick a ball, and um, I was very proud to do that. And I realised that this is a position of responsibility and um, an opportunity hopefully to make an impact um, for the long term uh, and to help um, people at the FA who I consider to be top quality people um, who have the best interests of English football at heart. So I think that's something that um, I'm really looking forward to.